Hello, Victor here, RestoringMercedes.com, and this video is for Lorenzo uh, in Wisconsin. So here we have a 12-cylinder um, 600 SL car, and I'm testing throttle bodies and e-gas module that came from a 96, oh, I'm sorry, 90, 95, um, 95 S600 four-door. As you can see, the module, the e-gas is for the four-door model. Uh, it appears to be that 95 module fits nice and it works nice. Throttles that came for testing. They were rebuilt some by somebody. I can see the sheeting is not original, but um, they are repaired. So customer checked into the wiring and the wires look good. As you can see, this is your throttle body. I did not connect the linkage though. As you can see over here, it's just loose um, because we have an issue with idle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the car now. Now, that is my car issue, the idle jumping up and down. It has nothing to do with throttles. Okay, so just wanted to bring that up. Uh, there is a vacuum leak somewhere, one of the computers is bad, I don't know yet. I didn't look into it yet. But, um, as you can see, <coughs> engine started up. It didn't go all the way up to red line, as the customer stated. There is no SR light and it runs. Throttles, I can do like one or two actuations. Nah, that's a limp mode I think already. Okay, and don't, don't look at this issue. There's some vacuum issue with the motor. I can disconnect my mass airflow, it will run much nicer. As you can see, engine cleared up. There's something to do with vacuum there somewhere. I don't know what's wrong with it, I didn't look into it yet. But again, as you can see, the idle is not jumping up and down. It stays steady, it's not redlining or anything like that. So it does look fine to me. <coughs> what I'm going to do next is... I'm going to read the codes of the EGAS module so we can see what codes are in there. Let's see if there are any codes stored. There will be one generic code for the communication error when the module is removed from the vehicle. <coughs> it will store that code. So we're gonna go to start diagnostic real quick. As a matter of fact, I can actually start the call, let it run. Let it like battery charge up a little bit. It does look like it's a vacuum leak somewhere. I suspect it from underneath where uh, the positive crankshaft ventilation system is seem to be from there because I don't see any other explanation. Okay, let's get this star diagnostic going. See the motor then never races up, stays steady. Also I did erase adaptation values too, so it has to be relearned. So therefore there's a possibility for that bad idling. But anyway, okay so we go to gasoline engine, we go to the e-gas module now. 
<clears throat> Let's see if it reads it. Nope. Because this computer should not be installed in this car. Well, oh well. Anyway, I tried. It does work though. But computer senses it that it's the wrong module but it does work so it's a last, last resort if somebody out there who has 600 SL and has a bad e-gas module cannot find it anywhere else there you have it I mean it runs in this car it just does not read but it just like I said it's a last resort because these early e-gas modules are very difficult to find used second hand so this is my ASR it's going to be there's one code that's going to be stored as you can see code 30 that will be there because ASR module senses that e-gas module was removed the code states says that the e-gas module does not communicate with ASR module so we're going to reread it and that's it the code is gone because ASR module sees EGAS module now and it's all clean I'm gonna try one more time to read EGAS module but I doubt I can get it because it senses that it's the wrong module <coughs> yep you see this is the module that's installed 8232 okay and uh, 8232 it does work but computer cannot read it what is my computer what did I do with it the correct module should be this one that's from the two-door convertible okay well that basically concludes our, ter our test actually because it was proven that it actually does work fine. I mean, both throttle bodies and computer module work. They don't get the car to red line in front. So I don't see a problem here. No, it's starlight. Again, disregard the idle issue. It's my idle issue. Put the air conditioner on. Idle stabilizes. Well, for a second. <laughs> but um, again, this is different issue. This is the one that I have to go through <coughs> later on. All right, so here we have it. Uh, modules work. I mean, you th throttle bodies work. Computer works. So it's all good to go. Victor at RestoreMercedes.com.